Well, welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video on this channel here. I haven't really posted much on this channel, but now I'm back. Um, this channel is going to be mostly about my career um, in the Coast Guard since I'm enlisting there. And I might as well share it with you guys. And that's exactly what we're about to do right now. So the first video is going to be right here right now. My experience in maps. I'm located in Orlando, so my nearest maps for me where I went was at Tampa. And it was a pretty amazing experience. I liked it, it was really fun. Um, a lot of waiting, but it was really fun. So my date for MEPS was October 5th and 6th, which was a Tuesday and a Wednesday of this month. And I'm also gonna be adding clips around here and then giving information and stuff like that. So just pay attention to the video, that way you got some understanding of what's going on. And I got you guys. So guys, just came from testing in the MEPS area and I got an okay score. I, I qualified for my job, but uh, three points away from what I, or not my job, I qualified for Coast Guard, but I'm three points away from my job. So I might retake it, I don't know. It doesn't matter, but hey, I'm in. So I'm in my hotel right now. I got a roommate, but he's out eating some food right now. And uh, here we go. Yep, this is the hotel, and uh, it's pretty good, pretty good, pretty nice, I like it, pretty good. So, we're about to go down and get some food right now, so, uh, I'm hungry, I haven't eaten all day. One thing I've eaten was a breakfast, which was like cereal and banana, so, there's that. Getting ready for bed. It is currently 21:32. We have to be in bed by 10 o'clock curfew. And we have to wake up tomorrow at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Check out, get our breakfast, and head straight to meds, get our physical. So that's exciting. And uh, so far, my journey's been really cool. I've met a couple of great friends, a couple of great people. Play board games with people. Um, it was pretty enough. It's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun day. Um, tomorrow's gonna be long, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be something else. So we're gonna go into it, and I'll tell you guys all about it. It is four in the morning. I'm supposed to be there by four thirty. So let's get this. Continuing from the video, unfortunately I could not record when I came back home because I was tired and it was pretty late since it was a 40 minute ride home plus the two hours to get back to the recruiting station. But I'm here now, so I'm gonna be telling you guys everything and how it went. We went to sleep at 10 o'clock, woke up at 3.50 in the morning, got ready, supposed to be downstairs by 4.30 in the morning, that's where we can eat breakfast and you know have some time to ourselves before we head out to MEPS. Uh, next thing you know, it's five o'clock. Um, five o'clock is when we took the bus. Once we arrived at MEPS, it was 5.30 in the morning. And we got separated into the two genders, um, male, female, obviously. Um, then after that, we got separated further for the ones who are shipping out straight after MEPS and the ones who are staying, you know, here still, not going to basic. They take our temperatures. They let us know that this is federal grounds. Abide by the rules or you'll be kicked out. Simple as, there's no, no in between. You can't fight against it. So just listen to what they say. After that, they do a little COVID sheet, putting our temperature, what our branch, active, all this other stuff. We go through the security check, we get our name tags, and we put our stuff back in the storage. Once we go to the storage, uh, we go to this other office, they'll give us our medical records, and then we head to the medical briefing room. Uh, that In that room, they take our blood pressure, and then we go sit down on a chair, and they give us a little sheet to read, basically like giving us information on what types of uh, examinations they're about to do to us and all this other fun stuff 
Uh, it goes into very specific detail, so make sure you read that and soak up all that information. Um, that way you won't be like, oh shit, like, I don't know why this is happening. Why are they doing this to me? Once that's over, they give us a brief. They uh, tell us what to sign, what not to sign, how to sign it. That way we just get clear instructions. Giving them consent for our uh, examinations, right? Once we're done with the signing, with everything like that, we take a breathalyzer test. You, should, you know, if you didn't drink any alcohol before, like me, I never drunk, I never did anything like that, so it's my first time actually taking the test. So uh, I blew on it and then zero, 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 I was straight because I'd never done anything before, so uh, no problem with me. Everybody else also passed, so I was good. All my friends passed and everything like that. Uh, after that, they direct us to rooms. Um, there's a multitude of tests, all that stuff. Um, sometimes it's some, some sort of order. Mine was vision, urinal, uh, blood, hearing, and then it went from after the hearing went to the interview and then from the interview it went to the physical where they have to check my, my nuts and stuff and then um, after the physical we actually do the other second part of it where we have to fi figure out if your joints are good or not so hearing and vision were basically good um, I know I did really really good on hearing and did really really good on vision I saw I had 20-20 vision so that's good on the other hand if you have medical stuff make sure that you got yourself sorted all the way before you get into those testings because they will ask you for a bunch of other shit. So after the hearing and after the vision, I went straight to the urinal test. And it wasn't even that bad. Um, it was like a little mini room. Uh, there was three other guys with me. And uh, there's a guy looking at us. We peed into the cup and everything else that we had in our bladder. We just put the cup to the side inside the urinal and then pee everything out. It's pretty good. They did the test right in front of you to see if you're good or not. And then... Other once you're done from that, you're good. After we took the P test, I went to the blood work lab, which was, if you've gotten blood before, stick a needle in you, take blood, and you're done. Just one little thing like this. It's not that bad. And with the blood, I know I said I was, I, the hearing, vision things, I did that, but that's when I did the hearing. I did it after the blood. And then after the hearing, we went to the interview. Guys, make sure you stick to the script. Make sure you stick to what you said on the paper in the recruiter's office. Whoever is interviewing you, whoever you're talking to will try to provoke you into say something different or say something that'll slip up, make you slip up, and then you get disqualified, and then there's no reason to be at MEPS anymore. So I did good. I'm chilling. And then after that is when you get your joints and everything sorted out. They make us do the duck walk and all that fun stuff. And then after that portion of the test or of the MEPS, that's when you, you know when you get qualified or disqualified or not. The doctor will call you up. He'll be like, hey man, you're good. You're qualified. Go to the front desk and they'll sort you out. Once we got to the, once I got to the front desk, they're like, congratulations, you have been medically qualified to join the military. And I was pretty stoked, man. I, I thought I wasn't going to be able to do that, but I did it. So there goes that. Um, and then after that, we go to our liaison. That's the first time I see my liaison all day. So um, I don't know if that's for everybody else. I don't know if there's a different system for that, but it was a quick visit. I ate my lunch before I went to see her because she told me to go ahead and eat my lunch. Then I went back to the room. We talked a little bit, asked her a couple of questions. And then she said I had to go back two times before I actually ship out to boot camp. So I had to do my swear and stuff like that. After, we didn't do our swear in the same day, so don't worry about it. So she signed me off. Then that was pretty much it. Um, all my other friends were there. We were talking for a little bit because we can actually talk in the lobby. And uh, we waited for everybody else to go. Everybody that was in my shuttle, we all passed, flying colors. And uh, when we went back, we drove back to the Coast Guard recruiting station where everybody got dropped off. And it's the last time I'll probably see any of them. So it was pretty fun. It was great. Next video, I'm going to be making a guide on what to bring and do and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, peace out.